Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is September the 11th, 2019. Here to give you all a very quick update for Bitcoin. See how the market has been trading since our last video, which was done on September the 8th, and see how the market has played against our original prediction. If this is your first time, come to our channel. As always, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you become notified of when we upload our videos to this platform. And if you want to have more information about our price movement forecast, definitely join us at our website at hughfinancial.com. So now let's talk about this, of what happened into the market for Bitcoin. Um, the day that we did our video was right here on the 8th of September. And we kept this original price target on going because we created this price target on the 5th of September. We did an update on the 8th, still expecting the market in Bitcoin to continue to move to the downside, as you all can tell yesterday and even on today's trading day we came and hit our price target area okay so being fully transparent this is what we do here everyone else is not giving you their expectations into the market as the market plays out we are literally here showing you without any confusion that it's possible to predict yes i said it predict where prices are going to go 5.61 percent is proof that you can see and also go back and check out other videos about what we stated for Bitcoin profit right there. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. And we're going to talk about it real quick on the expectations of Bitcoin going into the future. So now with the market in Bitcoin coming and touching uh, the market around $10,000, that is a very key uh, mental area for a lot of the market participants. Okay. The weakness is still dominating this coin. And that's I say that because on the weekly price chart, the market is still reflecting to us more weakness than we are seeing strength at this present time. But as I've been indicating to you on the previous videos, Bitcoin is not that weak. We're just going through a minor weakness phase in this coin at this time Four hour chart. In Bitcoin, the market is still reflecting to us some minor weakness that $10,000, as I mentioned, is a very crucial area of some support. And you've seen that coming in on the four hour chart. Real quick look, zooming in on the three hour, you're getting in the same depiction. Now, I'm not seeing a alternative move occurring in Bitcoin just yet. I'm just seeing consolidation of trading happening in this market. Now, we might hit $10,200 maybe a tad higher than that in Bitcoin. But what is occurring as I draw this for you is simply a big, massive consolidational area. That is all that is going on into the market for Bitcoin. We're waiting. We're building up a massive amount of energy for the next big move. OK, whether that's to the upside, to the downside, you have to look on a longer time frame to determine precisely what is going on why we're consolidating. OK. I want to take a look at it on the one hour chart real quick. And again, we're just really consolidating. I don't see a lot of action going on into the market right now as I'm recording this video. Uh, I would like to have seen some increases in volume to let us know that that strength is really dominating the weakness. And I'm not getting that yet. So at best, I'm just going to hold out and just look at some consolidational trading. When you get this type of market action, you just wait on the sideline until you get a more directional bias, whether it's to the weakness side or to the strength side as to what the market's going to do. Now, obviously, we're going through some weakness right now in Bitcoin. So I'm still looking for that market overall to trend that way. But it's I'm, like I stated, it's not really that dramatic to, to where I'm going to say, yeah, Bitcoin is going to continue to move lower in price. Not yet. OK, so what we're going to do on this video is just simply hold out. Uh, consider this a consolidational trading range. Sideline this area in Bitcoin and pinpoint a price range in the market that we expect Bitcoin to trade until we come back and do another update on Bitcoin. OK. So it's going to be about a 16, well, it's about 17 and a half percent uh, move that we can see in the market in Bitcoin occur. OK, so just definitely be prepared for that to happen into the market. We're trying to hold 10,000 right now. But I, like I stated, I don't see a lot of volume coming in, letting us know that that 10,000 is still going to be a good area of support. So 
more than likely I'm still leaning for Bitcoin to continue its movement lower. Anywhere below $10,000 for us would be a TP area, okay? But like I said, when you don't have that confidence on that side, you just wait on the sideline to get a better entry point. So we just want to show you the anticipated price range that we're expecting Bitcoin to trade. Okay, so this is it. As always, give us your thoughts and your opinion as to what you expect Bitcoin to do on the daily time frame. Right now, we are still in weakness, so the expectation is still for it to move lower, but we're just not going to put in a price target at this time okay so as always make sure you all maintain your profitability and i will see you all on the next one